All right, guys, this is, this is my powder room. This is exactly the way the previous owners left it for me. This is how I inherited it. It's such a small space, as you can see. Um, so I feel like it doesn't warrant hiring a contractor to do it. So I'm just gonna do some minor updates and hope it turns out well. <laughs> Here's the plan. Replace the mirror. This one looks a little bit dated. Replace the light fixture. Um, that one is, you know, yeah, same, a little bit dated. I basically want this room to match the rest of my house. I'm gonna remove this medicine cabinet thingy, paint the back wall, and then hang a frame. And that's it. <laughs> that's my plan. I think that's gonna make the impact that I need. Um, these tiles on the floor I'm going to keep. I'm just gonna clean them up. Pedestal sink I'm going to keep. There's not much storage, but honestly, this bathroom is not used much, so. I think the pedestal will be fine. I'll just add a basket with some toilet paper and stuff and hang some towels. I'm not even gonna replace these, the towel rack and toilet um, paper holder, even though they're very dated, but honestly, I'm not trying to mess with like spackle and drywall and all that shit because I've done that before and it was a mess. So I'm just gonna be doing minor things. It's just gonna be a facelift. Let's not call it a reno. Let's call it a bathroom facelift. I'm in Lowe's. Looking for a light fixture. I forgot my camera at home, so we're vlogging on the phone today. Can you guys see this fixture? It's like the one I have in my kitchen, except it's black and white. So cute. Mine's nicer, <laughs> but I thought it was cute. Anyways, I'm in the wrong section. Let me go to the next aisle. I like that one. I think it's cute and it goes with the same vibe as the kitchen, you know, so the main floor will kind of flow. But I'm wondering if it's gonna be bright enough. I do like it though. Okay, I'm back from the store, so let me show you what I got. I ended up picking up this fixture from Lowe's. Let's see if I get a picture of it. I ended up getting this fixture from Lowe's. It's a three bulb fixture. Hopefully it's bright enough. I mean, the, the fixture that's in there right now only has two bulbs and one of them is blown and it's just fine. So I'm pretty sure this will be okay. It has a gold finish and it has round lights. So it kind of matches my theme for this floor, as you can see from the kitchen lighting. And then I went to Home Depot and I picked up this mirror. It's a round mirror with a gold finish. I think that's gonna really pop. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Um, I also picked up a quart of paint. This is in the color Peppercorn by Seiko. And the last thing I got is this basket from the dollar store. This was $4. The dollar store is getting out of hand with their pricing, but anyways. I got this to fill up with toilet paper because like I said, that bathroom's not used much, so just wanna keep it stocked. Okay. <laughs> It's a pretty tight space in here, so I don't really even have anywhere to put the camera down. So I'm just gonna show you guys bit by bit and hopefully I can manage this. I'm pretty much gonna be instructing half. I looked it up on YouTube and I think we can change this fixture. So let's start with that. First step is complete. We removed, well, half removed <laughs> the cabinet. So here is the progress. Part two, done. So the mirror's gone. Next is this, as you can tell, I have turned off the power, so. <laughs> Wish me luck. guys moment of truth and he said that there be light. Uh, 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 uh. so as you can see it's coming along look at my cute little light fixture and gold matching mirror that's so cute I've run into a slight problem you guys I'm short I'm only 5'5 five five, so can't reach the top and my stepladder does not fit in this little 
Can I step on the toilet? Will I break it? Like, will I break the cover? I, ha I have to step on it closed. If I step on it open, I'm definitely going to fall in and bust my head. You guys, please, send help. I did it. I got it taped out. <laughs> and so now I'm going to paint. This is the paint I purchased by Seiko. It is in the color Peppercorn, which is a very dark gray color. Same color I have upstairs for my accent walls. Let the process begin. As you guys know, it's a very small space in here, so I'm going to put you guys down, put on some Bear's Hammond, and I will check in with you later. Okay, I guess you could say that this is coat number one complete. This is not as easy as I thought, especially painting behind the toilet. God, it's mad annoying, but I think my dad would be proud of me because usually I call him to paint everything that I need painted, so first coat complete. two coats I think I'm gonna do one more well I only have enough paint to do one more so I'm gonna let this dry for I don't know half hour hour and do another coat that is the third coat and I'm pretty much out of paint so I'm gonna call that a wrap let this dry for an hour and continue with the rest of my plans I picked these up from Home Sense, and as soon as I saw them, I was like, yes, powder room. They just make sense to me. So my plan is to hang like one high up here and one lower down here. Just for a little extra, you know, je ne sais quoi. I don't know, I don't really be knowing. The wall looks good though, right, so far? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna peel the tape off and hope for the best. My corners are a little bit wonky, but I think it looks okay. So now I'm gonna hang a picture frame right in the center, which is this nice black and white frame. I think that'll really pop against the dark wall. Last thing I'm gonna do is hang these little um, plants that I got from HomeSense. This is my picture hanging kit that I got from Walmart. I think I'm going to use Two of these. I think these are cute. They're not too heavy, so they should hold up just fine. I got this cute little wire basket from the dollar store. So I'm gonna put this on the back of the toilet and just put like, you know, essentials in there. All right, guys, are you ready? <laughs> Please don't laugh at me. This is my attempt at renovating my bathroom. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is my new powder room. I just wanted to make it look a bit more modern and match the rest of my home. Hey, guys. But it's such a small space. I didn't really want to pay a contractor or a handyman. So this is how it turned out. I really, really love this mirror, which I picked up at Home Depot, as you guys know, with the gold frame. And I also love my light fixture. This is like my favorite part. I think the background looks great in this mirror. Like I could take selfies in here. <laughs> and, um, you know, as long as you don't look too closely at the corners, it's not bad. I think that looks so cute. Thank you guys for keeping me company. You really helped me keep going with this little bathroom refresh slash update um hopefully you got some ideas for your own home and i'll see you guys in the next video peace